Risualistic of first example, vector arithmetic. So we have the vectors a is equal to 1, 3 and b is equal to 4, minus 7. And the first question is to compute a plus b. Next question is to compute 2 times a. Third one is compute 3a minus 2b. And the fourth one is to compute the magnitude or the norm of 2a plus 3b. So let's start with the first one. So now let's compute a plus b. So we are going to have 1, 3 plus 4 minus 7. So we are going to add it components wisely. So we are going to have 1 plus 4, then 3 minus 7, which will give us 5 minus 4. So our vector a plus b is equal to 5i minus 4j. So with our next question, we have to compute 2 multiplying the vector a. So that's going to give us 2. So our vector a is giving us 1, 3. So 1, 3. So that will give us 2, 6 which is equivalent to 2i plus 6j. So that's our vector 2a. Now with the third one, we have to compute 3a minus 2b. So we are going to have 3. What's the vector a? That's 1, 3 minus 2. Our vector b is giving us 4 minus 7. So we are going to have 3, 9, minus 8, minus 14. Now we are going to subtract its components wisely. So we are going to have 3 minus 8, then 9, minus, minus 14. So we are going to have minus 5. So minus minus will be plus, so that will give us 23. So we have our vector 3a minus 2b as minus 5i plus 23j. With 4, we have to compute the magnitude or the norm of 2a plus 3b. So here, first of all, we have to first compute this guy. Thus, we have to compute 2a plus 3b. So now let's compute this. So we are going to have 2 multiplying the vector a, 1, 3, plus 3 multiplying the vector b, 4, minus 7. So we are going to have 2, 6 plus 12 minus 21. So let's add it. So we're going to have 2 plus 12, 6 minus 21. And that's going to give us 14 minus 15. So we have our vector 2 plus 3b as 14 minus 15. Now, we now compute the norm of this guy. And by definition, if we have a vector a, which is a two-dimension vector, we are going to have its norm to be the square root of a1 squared plus a2 squared, right? So here we just have to square these guys, then we take the square root of it. So we are going to have the norm of 2a plus 3b to be equal to the square root of 14 squared plus minus 15 squared. All square roots. So our norm is square root of 421 units.
determine whether the given vectors are collinear or not. Collinear is the same as parallel, so they are the same. So now by definition, a vector say P is collinear to a vector Q if there exists a constant K such that P is equal to K times Q, right? So in this case, all that we have to do is to find a unique constant K such that this expression will hold. We have our vector P to be equal to 2, 3 and Q to be equal to minus 4, minus 6. So here we want to show that there is a constant K such that the vector P is equal to K multiplying Q. So we are going to have 2, 3 is equal to a constant k multiplying minus 4 minus 6. So we are going to have 2, 3 is equal to minus 4k minus 6k, right? So here we are going to equate the components of the vectors. So we are going to have 2 is equal to minus 4k. Let's call this equation 1 and 3 is equal to minus 6k. Call this equation 2. Now let's solve equation 1 and 2. So from equation 1, we have k to be equal to minus 1 half. Also from equation 2, we have k to be equal to minus 1 half. Right, so now since k is unique, k should be just one value, right? So in, in this case, we have k to be minus one half, minus one half. So we are going to say that the vector p is equal to minus one half multiplying the vector q. So in this case, these two vectors are collinear vectors. So now let's try the second one also. So with the second one, we have our vector P to be equal to 2, 3 and Q to be equal to 4, 5. Now we want to show whether these two vectors are collinear or not. So we are going to say that PQ is equal to a constant K times Q, where K is a unique constant that is just one value. So we are going to have 2, 3 is equal to K multiplying Q for 5. So we are going to have 2, 3, 4K, then 5K. So as we did in the first example, we are going to set each of the components to be equal to the other. So we are going to have 2 is equal to 4k, call this a equation 3, and 3 is equal to 5k, call this a equation 4. So from equation 3, we have our k to be equal to 1 half. Also from equation 4, we have k to be equal to 3 on 5. Now here k is unique, so k should be just one value. But here we have k having two values, right? So in this case, these two vectors are not collinear. So that's p and q are not collinear.
in this example we have to find the vector with an initial point of a 2 3 and a terminal point of b which is 3 minus 1 that's for question 1 and 2 has the initial points to be b which is 3 minus 1 and its terminal points to be a which is 2 3 so now let's start with the first one so with the first one we have been told that the initial point is a which is 2 3 and the terminal point is b which is 3 minus 1 so when we draw this vector we are going to have a vector like this so it starts at a which is 2 3 and it's going to be which is 3 minus 1 so now we have to find this vector so as we learned from the definition of position vectors we want to express these two vectors relative to its origin so let's say we have O here then which means that we are going to have this vector here O A and O B right so now this guy will move here and this guy will also move here so that's the sum of O A and A B should be equal to that of O B these are vectors so we put the bar on top now so our focus is to find a b so we make a b the subject so which implies that a b is equal to o b minus o a now what's o a that's two three so we are going to have o b to be equal to three minus one and o a giving us 2 3 which will give us 1 minus 4 so this is our vector a b now with the second one we are being told that the vector has an initial point of b which is giving us 3 minus 1 and its terminal point as a which is 2 3 so now let's draw the vector so that's how it could be easier for us so we have b here we have a so b is the initial point so it's moving from b to a so the arrow will move to the right and a is giving us 2 3 So now let's express these vectors with respect to the origin. So we have O here. So this will move to B and this will go to A. So now then from this diagram, we can see that OB plus BA is equal to OA then our focus is to find b a right so we are going to have b a is equal to o a minus o b and we have o a giving us two three and o b giving us three minus one so we are going to have minus one four so this is our vector b a With this question we are given two vectors a and b and we are being asked to find the unit vector in the same direction as a b 
so here the first thing to do is to find the vector a b then we can move on to find its unit vector so by position vectors we can say that the vector a b is equal to vector o b minus vector o a and we have o b giving us 10 9 8 minus o a is giving us 4 3 2 so which is going to give us 6 6 6 so now there is a vector a b then we will now move on to find the unit vector of a b so here let's call the unit vector of a b to be u hat then the unit vector u hat is equal to a b divided by the magnitude or the norm of a b right so now let's find the magnitude of a b so magnitude of a b is defined as the square root of 6 squared plus 6 squared plus 6 squared which is going to give us 6 root of 3 so then we will now divide a b by the magnitude of a b so we are going to have our unit vector u hat to be equal to 6 6 6 divided by 6 root of 3 so we are going to divide its components wisely so therefore this is our unit vector in the direction of a b